Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying out the NextPal V311 OBD2 scan tool or diagnostic tool. Went over the instructions just a little bit. Uh, still not that familiar with using this, but uh, we're going to try it for the first time today. I do have a bad code a check engine light on my car. I'll show you and explain that a little bit later. But uh, here's a look at the scanner. Now there is no batteries to change, so we won't be able to really see a display until we plug this into the port um, underneath the dash. OBD2 is going to be uh, good for vehicles 90, 1996 and up. Okay, the, uh, supposedly the, the up and down arrows are for navigating. Got the exit and the enter. I guess uh, when we're ready to scan, we'll push enter. So uh, we'll go to the car so we can kind of see what's going on on the screen. And uh, I'll explain my check engine light situation. But uh, let's go ahead and measure this real quick here. The cord is not that long, really. Uh, let me get a measurement. Right, the measurement that I got from here to the very end, right at three foot. So that's what you can expect. Let's head out to the car and uh, continue with this. All right, so underneath the car, like most cars or vehicles, it's going to be uh, right under here. You can see mine there. we're plugged in as soon as I plugged it up the screen comes on and uh, you can see what we can navigate see the check engine light icon there all right so here's the situation with this car it's a 97 it has a check engine light that's been on for a couple of years uh, I drive it without any problems because I know it's it's got a bad emissions code. I can't remember what code that was. It's been a long time since I scanned it. But I've uh, just been driving with that light on, so I know that the light is on, um, and it is some type of emissions code, something like a check, uh, something like a um, charcoal canister, uh, some kind of some kind of code like that, uh, evap code, uh, maybe an EGR valve related situation. So I expect that the scanner to at least pull that up. Uh, if it doesn't pull that up, then the scanner's bad because I know we've got a mill light on um, and uh, I've been driving around, like I said, for a couple years with it on. So yeah, right now, right now we are, we are at the uh, OBD um, icon here with the check engine light icon. We can navigate. I'm not sure what these, what these other icons are for, but uh, yeah, just... Uh, goes back to where we need to be right there that's where we're going to scan this code today put my key in the on position for this okay we're in the on position all I'm going to do is press enter and see what happens all right check it out Okay, so it, yeah, it says, so we can read codes, erase codes, view, freeze frame. Uh, we will go ahead and view the freeze frame first. Okay, to view it, I'm just pressing enter. All right, so it says uh, PO450, and uh, that's very familiar, uh, very similar. Uh, sounds familiar to what I've, what I got like two two years ago or so from the other scanner that I used. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can get back to the screen. Uh, before I think we're going to need to exit out 
All right, so yeah, after exiting out, we're back to the read codes. Let's go back up here to read codes. You push, press enter again. All right, so check it out. PO450, that's a evaporative emission system pressure sensor switch. So uh, a little bit specific there. Uh, with the uh, pressure sensor switch okay one of one or is that one of, one of three okay so see what else I'm gonna go down from there okay so I won't press down now we've got PO441 it's another trouble code incorrect purge flow okay let's go down again for the third one PO450 again so uh, that's the three codes really two codes that I'm pulling up um, yeah I mean it's working fine easy uh, unlike my other scanner it gives a little more detail here like pressure sensor switch so I'll check that out and maybe replace that uh, but yeah this thing is working and it's easy as soon as I plug it up press enter and start scanning I don't have to uh, put any information about what car this is so um, very easy to use this uh, let's see what we can let's let's exit out again all right it's asking me if I want to exit exit test are you sure I'm going to push yes that would be uh, enter I guess all right so we're back again uh, let's check the battery See what happens with that. I'm not sure where to where to go for that. We're just going to press battery. Okay, 12.4 volts. So that's all you do for that. Um, now I could erase those codes. I think I'm going to yeah. Let's go ahead and erase them. So we'll go back. Okay, so I don't know if you saw what I did, but I just went to that icon again. I was I was not on that icon, and then pressed enter. So uh, we're going to try to erase the codes. So I'm going to erase codes. We're going to press enter, see if it will erase them. Please, uh, let's see, erase trouble codes. Are you sure? It's got yes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Erase done. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's go back and see. All right, let's turn the car off and let's try to scan it again, see if they are off. All right, so what we've done is uh, unplug the scanner, plug it back up. We're going to see if it will uh, find any more codes now. We've erased the bad codes. Go back up here to this icon, make sure we're there. Okay, let's uh, enter. Check how fast it is. Should say no codes. Code found zero. Let's read. No code, no code to store. Yeah, so yeah, it erases those. Um, what I'll do is, uh, uh, I mean, I don't expect anything. I expect I'd like to come back on after going through a drive cycle. Um, but until, you know, any repairs are made, that's what's going to happen. Uh, as, soon as, it, as soon as it comes back on, it's going to read the code again. As soon as the drive cycle, you know, uh, goes through the drive cycle and the check engine light comes back on, it will read that again. So, uh, yeah, I'm seeing a check engine light here, but as soon as I start my car, that light will not be on. Uh, and most people know this until I go through a complete drive cycle again. Um, if nothing's been repaired on the car, then the, the light will come back on. Uh, so, anyway, that's how that works. But the scanner, uh, yeah, uh, works works great. I mean, um, really easy to use and uh, a little more specific than the other 
as far as uh, data, I think. So I guess that's going to be it for the next pal OBD2 plus battery V311 uh, trouble, trouble code reader. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.